very special and a very thin layer which is called the conjunctiva look so this is called the palpebral conjunctiva and this conjunctiva reverses back and on the surface of the sclera it comes up to the corneoscleral junction right so it also has an attachment with what it also has an attachment with uh, this is called your bulbar conjunctiva bulbar conjunctiva so here also we have this is palpebral conjunctiva be, behind the what behind the uh, eyelid there is palpebral conjunctiva then uh, uh, fornix and then it comes and uh, above the surface of what above the surface of sclera this is called your uh, bulbar conjunctiva so sclera also provides attachment to bulbar conjunctiva this was the the next important point regarding the uh, conjunctiva uh, sorry regarding the sclera so let's write it here also the bulbar conjunctiva bulbar conjunctiva right it's attached also with sclera then the next important point about sclera that what is its thickness right what is the thickness of the sclera so about the thickness of sclera if we talk here look carefully so its thickness varies at different points let me draw another diagram look carefully If this is our sclera right and here is our cornea so look at the thickness I'm drawing it here is the thickness a little bit more like this right then it narrows down and then it again becomes more and more thicker look I'm drawing it very simply it becomes more and more thicker like this so look at the thickness you see it look there is some big difference between the thickness of the sclera at different points look here and then what happens that most parts of the thickness of the posterior part goes over the uh, what over the dura of the optic nerve and very little thickness comes and joins with each other so we will say that important point so this is about the thickness now look here this is the anterior thickness anterior thickness this is the posterior thickness right and this is the very important point where the extra ocular muscles are attached right this is the inferior rectus muscle this is the superior rectus muscle and then there will be a medial rectus and a lateral rectus muscle so you saw that at the point of attachment of the recti muscles the thickness is very less right and anteriorly the thickness is little more than this thickness and posterior thickness is much more than other thicknesses right so the thickness at anteriorly and at attachment attachment of muscles what is the thickness and posterior thickness so there are we say that the thickness is at three different points right so the thickness at the anterior point right here it is about 6 millimeter right and you can see here the thickness is very very narrow so here is 0 0.4 m m millimeter and the thickness posteriorly you can see it is more thicker posteriorly so we say it is about 11 millimeter right so th these are the three important points where we find the thickness of the cornea of the sclera now you can see here 
this more thickness goes over the dura of the what the dura of your optic nerve and here if we zoom our camera and see here here the thickness is very 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 less right so it contains uh, holes this important point contains posteriorly this important point contains small small holes and if i draw it from behind right if you look from behind that will be like this right so that will contain lots of lots and lots of holes through these holes the fibers of your optic nerve will enter so here the thickness is very very less the thickness of the sclera is very very less so it contains lots of sieves sieves right let me write it here s e i v e sieves sieves means holes right so we say that here uh, there is there are holes through which the fibers of your optic nerve comes out and makes the sclera uh, and makes the retina so we say it forms a lamina which contains cribrose so we say this is called lamina cribrosa right this is lamina cribrosa right so this was about the thickness so the thickness which is very very less at which point so the very weakest point of the sclera let me write here the weakest point of your sclera is what that is the lamina lamina cribrosa through which what happens through which the fibers of your uh, optic nerve enters and then make the retina right and we should not forget that there are attachment of muscles uh, which uh, uh, which is provided by your sclera so you can see here this is your optic disc and this this yellow color you can see the entrance of what the entrance of your optic nerve right and this you can see here the white of the eye which is called the dura of the uh, optic nerve right and and make it makes an expansion and which we, i have written here in the previous diagram you have you had seen that this dura matter when it goes anteriorly it makes an expansion and this expansion of the dura of this uh, uh, optic nerve is called the what is called your sclera right so you can see here there are some muscles attached to the sclera also so it provides a attachment for your muscles so let me write here very important point the sclera provide attachment to muscles and these muscles are called the extra ocular muscles extra ocular muscles and we will discuss these muscles also in detail in the section of myology or muscular system of the body so friends this was very very important points regarding the structure and the parts of your sclera now in the next lecture we will go and we will say that what structures are passing through sclera you can see here the arteries and the veins and the nerves which are passing through the sclera right and they are tearing and piercing the sclera and entering the eye inside so we will see those structures which pass through the sclera that will be discussed in the next lecture so be with us don't go anywhere if you like the lectures please share and subscribe our channel and please share these videos with your friends see you in the next lecture